Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Here in the United States, things are going to start getting really weird over the next two weeks. Uh, as preppers, this is something that we've been thinking about and preparing for for a long time, but even for us, this is kind of a surreal experience, at least speaking for myself. You know, if you'd asked somebody a month ago, could they imagine that a month from then we'd have schools closing, we'd have, you know, things in grocery stores you just couldn't get, they were completely out of stock, that there'd be rationing going on. You know, a lot of people could did look at you as though you were kind of crazy, and yet here we are. Imagine where we're going to be a month from today, you know, uh, with the fact that we're, we're just in the beginning of this accelerating growth curve. A month from today, things could be, you know, even more different than they are right now than they were a month ago. Uh, that can be kind of frightening for a lot of people to think, you know, where are we going? There's this unknown future that we're kind of hurtling towards, and we don't know really what's at the end of it. Uh, as preppers, I think historically we've always been driven to prepare for things like this because we look back in history and we see there have always been pandemics, there's always been diseases, unfortunately there are always civil wars, genocide, all these terrible things are just kind of part of the human experience, unfortunately, uh, and they, they keep kind of coming back. And again, as preppers, we look back at those things historically and they, uh, you know, drive us to be prepared for those things when they invariably, unfortunately, happen again in the future. For most people, I think that can be kind of depressing to think about that, that, you know, these things are inevitable, that we're always going to have these things kind of, uh, uh, you know, following us, you know, like the Grim Reaper through history. Um, but there's another part of history that, you know, I think that it gives you a little bit a sense of hope, and that is that these things have always happened in the past. They always had a beginning, they had a middle. We're entering that middle right now, but they always had an end. And we're going to get to that end as well. And by the end, I don't mean, you know, it's the end of the world, the end of days, the end of all things. I mean, we're going to go through this crisis, it will have an end. Not everyone's going to get to see that end, and that's why they call it a crisis, is because bad things are happening. Some people are going to die, unfortunately, during this. But there will be an end for the rest of us, and you know we'll, we're going to get to see that end, and we can make that end what we choose to. If we uh, are our best selves, well, our future could be better than our past was. If we become our base selves, our animal selves, then that future could be, you know, not as nice as our past. We have that chance right now to decide, you know, what, how we're going to weather through this. Are we going to make the sacrifices that we need to, that we should make through this? Are we going to uh, endure what we need to endure? Uh, are we going to, uh, you know, do the heavy lifting, I guess I should say, that needs to be done to get ourselves through this, to get us to a place in the future that, you know, we want to be in. Because I think as a, a culture, as a society, uh, so many people focus on what separates us. You know, there's this group and that group, there's the liberals and conservatives, and, you know, we just, we're oil and water and we can't mix. But a crisis like this, it gives us an opportunity to realize that there is far more that holds us together than keeps us apart. I, I know that, uh, you know, the media, you know, politicians, particularly really ask people to focus on those differences. Maybe that might empower the politicians and the media. Maybe that gets you watching so you watch through the commercial breaks because, you know, they create this sense of drama and anger, uh, you know, for their own purposes and we're the victims of that. Uh, you know, our culture is the victim of that. But the reality is, is there is so much more that holds us together than separates us, really. What we all really want is happiness for ourselves and our family. You know, for our children to have a positive future, whatever group that you talk to, that's what, it, that's what we all want. And going through a crisis like this together, we have an opportunity to be reminded of that and to uh, keep that memory going into the, that new future that we're all going to get to, except for the people that unfortunately don't make it through this particular crisis period. So again, this is going to be weird, it's going to be unsettling, surreal, all sorts of adjectives that you could describe it. Um, but one thing that it's also going to be is temporary. It's, it has a beginning, it'll have a middle, we're moving into that now, and it will have an end. And if you're clever, if you're resourceful, and you're willing to do what needs to be done, keep your head, keep your heart, keep your humanity through it, we'll get to that end, and that end could be a better future than we've had in the past. That's it. Good luck. I'll keep doing videos through this, uh, sharing you with you our experience going through this. Hopefully that doesn't include getting sick, but who knows, you know, and good luck to you as you go through this in the best way that you possibly can as well. Thanks for watching. 
This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.